I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. In the physical world, a bot is the larvae of the bot fly. It's a parasite that lives inside animals' stomachs and comes out when everything else comes out. In the digital world, a bot is a script or a software program that's designed to do repetitive automated tasks. So things like web crawlers, crawlers or search engines, these things, web crawlers, search engines, are bots. They're designed to crawl the website and crawl the internet to find out what's out there to be able to index it. Vulnerability scanners might be also within this realm. Other such things as like Alexa and Surrey, these digital assistants, they're also bots. You might be on a shopping site and have an individual item in your shopping cart and then you have your little sidebar frame that talks about recommendations or suggested items. Those things are bots. So on the internet, some of these bots are actually oh, okay. But there's a dark side to bots and there are also malicious bots. You might have heard of things called Kubeface or Conflicker or Zeus. Now these are the bad bots or things that can turn into bot nets. And so while these are the good ones, some of the bad bots, and you can get some of these malicious bots or they're called Trojans to some extent. You get a Trojan by clicking on, so let's put an X, you know, the, the mad face over here. So you might click on a malicious link or, or you have a, a, um, a bad ad server that's delivering malware. Uh, you might have a spam email that comes into your system and your computer gets infected and then you become part of a bot net. So some of the things that bad bots do can do things like spam, oop, S-P-A, M, or uh, DDoS, distributed denial of service attacks. And so in these instances, your, your computer gets infected, and then once it's infected at various times, now we got a whole bunch of others out here too, all of these infected computers, and they all dial back into the command and control center. And from the command and control center, they would control all of these bots because that program is on there designed to call back to the control center. And from there, the malicious um, bad guys that are out there can do things like send spam from your computer. Your computer can be part of a, a massive botnet to deploy a denial of service attack. It can harvest things like your passwords from your browsers or just keystroke entries, what you're putting in to various uh, websites. They can do things like web scraping, so stealing information from, uh, from other websites. It can uh, uh, harvest your own email contacts and then initiate uh, spams that are out there. There's, you know, some statistics say that approximately 18 to 20 computers get infected with a Trojan and a malware bot every second. And some of these, um, some of these botnets can control, like a single botnet can control millions of computers that are out there. So now how do you know if you might be infected? So things like your computer's running slow, or it's rebooting, or you're getting redirected to malicious websites, and those sorts of things are some of the signs that you might be infected. And of course, there's solutions out there to then remove the malware from your system, antiviruses, anti-malwares, um, firewalls, things like that. So, a little basics on botnets, what they are, the good and the bad. And remember, even a Trojan on your computer is kind of like a parasite 
in the belly of your system. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. I'm Peter, and we'll see you in the community.